on everybody. Uh, Dan here with Alex and Brittany. We are at the Haldeman Mansion. Where? What, what town is this again? York? Bainbridge. Bainbridge, yeah. Pennsylvania. It's my first time here and yours as well, correct? Yeah, correct. Um, this is awesome. This is a place that I've always wanted to come. I've been invited here so many times and I just happen to have an opportunity to come here this weekend and check the place out for the first time. I've heard so many positive, amazing things about this place from other investigators that have been here. And I'm excited to kind of dive in here and see what I can pick up. I brought some uh, new equipment with me that I haven't used in a while, and I want to see what we can do here. Now, this building was built in the early 1800s. Uh, Samuel Heldman and his family actually moved in here. Um, you, you researched it a little bit too, right, Alex? I did, and it was Dr. Samuel Heldman, and he was known for being a family practitioner. And apparently, when he was here, he would go up to the attic and commit some. Uh, experiments on some animals and try and research humans that way. So he was trying to further uh, by doing research on animals. Well, that's, that might explain why they get a lot of animals coming through this building. Uh, a lot of animal sightings, uh, in particular a cat that they've caught here many times. Uh, I've seen videos of it. And actually right before uh, talking to David, who was uh, letting us in here, uh, his daughter actually question if there was a cat actually in the building, which is very interesting. So maybe we're going to pick up a uh, ghost animal this we'll tonight. Cat toys, so let's Sweet. Yeah. Brittany, on your end, what are you feeling? You know, like you're you're the kind of the psychic, you, you can absorb things, you can feel things when you come into places here. So what are you feeling when you come in here? Yeah, when I first walked in here, I felt like a, a super heavy presence. Like the minute that I walked through this main entrance out here, I had like a splintering headache right at the base of my skull, which doesn't usually come on that quick unless I'm dealing with um, like a mass amount of energy. And the deeper that you get into this building and the separate rooms that you hit, they become, it's, it's more and more prevalent that there's definitely some kind of activity going on. When, I was, when I was setting up in the, in the main floor there next to the, the kitchen, I felt like something swiped the back of my head. Mm -hmm. And Dave said that the, the Mrs. Haldeman. Mrs. Haldeman likes to touch the guys because she's not used to seeing them with short hair. Uh, back in the era they all used to have longer hair, so and I definitely felt something on the back of my head. Yeah, I saw you react right Yeah, it was, it was it was weird. I, I it's not something I nor I don't normally get touched when I come in the location. So for me to feel that it was uh, pretty extraordinary on, on my behalf. So um, then you, when you were going to walk through the building upstairs, you felt like you got uh, scratched or something or touched? Yeah, it was in the artifact room. I, me and Alex were just kind of, you know, scoping things out, looking around, looking at the things that they had in the, in the showcases. And I was like, my bad. Like it was instant, like stinging and it burned. Does this, has this happened to you before? This has happened before, but not to that point where it was like, I really felt something pierced through my skin and I lifted up my shirt to show Alex and she's like, it's red, oh my god, and she's red, red, red all the way down the back. And generally, I, I mean, out. generally those that are sensitive, that tends to happen to a little bit more than uh, like near her. Somebody that's sensitive seems to get touched more for some reason. Uh, I don't know what the explanation is or why that happens, but it's uh, interesting enough. So we were both touched within an hour of being here. Yeah, within an hour. So I have guys, and Andy's box. Uh, he was a mentor of Frank's Sumption. Uh, similar kind of setup as the Frank's box. Uh, mine was made in this beautiful little old radio casting. So I'm going to turn this on. We also have a motion detector set up, a PMB, a paranormal music box. You know, that's my favorite. Yeah, so it's basically a motion sensor. So if something moves in front of it, I'll show you. It's going to play a song and it's going to light up. Then we have two K2 meters in front of us. So we're going to try to call any spirits to come forward and speak to us here in the house. I'm gonna turn this on and see if I can. Radio station. 
five radio stations in seven. We're here at the Alderman Mansion of Science and Communicators, and in the spirit of the building. I'm all the way from Buffalo, New York. We got a couple of locals here with us. Are any of the Haldeman family here with us tonight? You can come up to the table and speak with us. I have a device here that allows you to hear you speak. Who's with us tonight? You? Who touched me earlier when I was outside the kitchen? Where's the little kitty cat? 
Has anybody seen the cat? Did you make that noise again? Dude, there's footsteps. You hear them above you? Above? I heard them above and I heard them to my left. Dude. You don't hear that? I, I don't. But I'm not, I'm not closer like you are. Is there somebody over there? There's somebody in the kitchen? Can you make a noise for us? Sounded like something was moving around over there. Yeah. Sometimes just sitting. And I heard it. I heard Did you? It. I just heard that again. It sounds like it's almost coming from upstairs over here, like above us. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe there's something above. Yeah. Us. Yeah. It's weird too. Now when that knock came, the film became. Blurry. I had to refocus it. Like something's there. Are you feeling anything? Like lightheaded. I sort of feel lightheaded when you start asking questions. I'm really just like cold in the dark. I keep looking over there too. But it's like it's it's very like dark. What's over there? I don't know, it's just like I feel like a very heavy a male presence that's not very like approving of females, especially like that's totally me. free will independent females. Is anybody over here? to uh, get some different equipment and go from there, you know? See if we can, f I wanna find out who scratched you. Yeah, me too. I guess we'll spend some time in there. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, guys, this is just take one. We will be back. Uh, we're gonna go into the artifact room with some new equipment. See if we can communicate with whoever scratched Brittany here and uh, get to the bottom of it. I wanna catch a cat. <laughs> I want to catch a cat here. I want to catch a ghost animal. I've never, I've caught one on a picture before, but I've never caught one on camera. And they've actually caught it on camera before here. So, um, and they just, she just the, saw saw the cat tonight. Yeah. 
So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks Thank for you. make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that little bell after you subscribe so you can get updates of when we put new stuff up. And uh, tell all your friends subscribe. 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 <laughs>